Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is going to be right around the 9th that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon will be taking place at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, and life purpose, your awareness of your life purpose. And when we have a full moon in this part of the sky, it represents a sense of culmination, a sense of fruition, and chances are it may feel as if there is some goal that matters to you that is coming together or reaching its culmination point. This can be a time of realization as well. Now, at the very least, this may bring with it opportunities to interview or audition for new opportunities, but it can also bring about personal understanding. What is it that you really want to do? What is it that matters to you to do? And where is it that you are ready to embrace a sense of enthusiasm and action to move yourself towards the goals that represent something honest and true for you? Now that is, and this description is certainly a more, uh, well, it's a more heightened, more personal, more emotional understanding of this part of the sky. And many Scorpios may realize this energy in this way. This full moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars as well. That adds energy and enthusiasm to it. However, I do want to recognize that there may be a lot of Scorpios out there who experience this energy more practically in terms of a project coming to fruition in terms of a realization as to where there may be more opportunities available to them, where they want to take more initiative or where it is that through an opportunity, they are being invited to take initiative and create momentum to move themselves towards greater success than they knew before. This is a part of the sky that connects to success as well. And with the energy of fulfillment, it looks like it is a success that is taking place that matters to you. As we navigate late into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is happening in fellow water sign Pisces. It is speaking in harmony with Uranus. It is also speaking in harmony with Mars as well. Now. This energy is a part of the sky that has to do with what you really want in your heart of hearts. It has to do with fun. It has to do with creative energy, fertile energy as well. It's a new moon. It represents new beginnings and new opportunities. And with that Uranian connection, very much by surprise, very much by luck as well. So if it is that you want children or you have children, this can be some really positive developments on that front that may feel surprising, but also positively delightful. If it is that you are a creative person, you use your creativity to your advantage, this can either be a chance to show your work in some way, uh, an opportunity based on your creative efforts, but it may also be a sense of you starting a new creative project now that is filled with brilliant new ideas. And for some of you, it is going to be this energy that is used more in terms of your downtime, in terms of what is joyous to you, what is fun for you and prioritizing that. Now, I would also add this part of the sky is sometimes connected to entrepreneurial efforts where it is that your efforts to align your work with what you're passionate about is taking place, well, that is when this new moon and its energy become evoked or highlighted in some way. And so if it is that you're hoping to do more of what it is that you're passionate about to make it your business, well, it is going to be this new moon that can bring you that little bit of extra luck. But here's something to take into consideration. A week before the new moon, Mercury is going to go retrograde in this same part of the sky. And what that means is, opportunities that are coming back around that are in some way connected to maybe an opportunity before or a possibility before maybe a connection that you already made it is those that are especially fortunate now where it is that maybe you've tried multiple times it is this mercury retrograde and this new moon that can help you succeed this time around and luck, this is a part of the sky connected to luck. And so it may very well feel that luck is very much on your side 
especially around the new moon. But it is better for opportunities to be those that were there before and now come back around rather than to be opportunities that truly feel as if they're coming out of nowhere. It is better that they be opportunities that you contemplated before rather than forging brand new alliances or brand new pathways. Because it is with the brand new and the truly brand new that you may want to be a little bit careful with that Mercury retrograde. It means that all may not be completely clear, that should probably be clear, that it would be to your advantage to be clear. But at the same time, that can really be okay. Ultimately, because this part of the sky is connected to luck, part of the luck you experience now may be an uncanny ability to bring fortunate events and fortunate opportunities that you thought were gone for good that actually mattered to you a lot that you feel more ready for now, well, it is those opportunities that can come back around in some way. Now, in addition to this, with Mercury retrograding in a part of the sky that has to do with heart, you are one of the signs most likely to feel as if someone that you flirted with in the past, maybe someone who was, you know, you dated them, or maybe they were a lover in some way to you. Well, those are the types of uh, connections that have an uncanny ability of coming back around when Mercury retrograde happens in this part of the sky. I would especially watch what's happening in the days around the new moon when the energy of surprise is especially high. So if you're open to meeting someone new, yes, a flirtation that you thought had come and gone could come back around uh, in the second half of the month. Now, it's also possible that uh, you may find a renewed sense of enthusiasm for flirtation and find yourself feeling pretty confident, creating a momentum of being more open to others as you move through your life. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I think that this can be a very powerful time. It is an energy that says you're seeing this person more clearly, even with that Mercury retrograde. Uh, you're either having another look or you're having a clearer look. So if it is that you are realizing there is a connection here, that could accelerate for you, especially in the days around the new moon. But if it feels like this person may not be the one for you, well, just know with that Mercury retrograde, you might make a decision, but then change your mind. And remember, it is also possible that someone you might have been interested in in the past uh, may come back around in some way. And that could be part of what leads you to making whatever choice or whatever decision you do in respect to this person that you're getting to know. And for those of you in an established bond, I feel like that Uranian energy is going to be especially strong. Yes, the new moon can be really nice for a romantic moment or romantic experience with this person. Uh, and that can be very beautiful. It can be joyous and memorable. But it is ultimately your partner that is facilitating the romance. It is your partner that is the source of the surprise and the luck that could come into your life at this time. In some way, it may feel as if for the two of you together, your fortunes are improving, perhaps in very quick ways. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say that new moon late in the month, it is that case for most people out there just because it is such a positively aspected new moon. There's a real sense now of you embracing change, embracing the future, and embracing your heart's truest desires. Your instincts are so strong now. And even with that Mercury retrograde, which I'm gonna invite you to be a little careful with, I still believe with energy like this, your instincts and quick actions really could land you feeling especially fortunate, like a turn of events, a windfall of some sort finds you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.